Kembo na tatanzambi ya manzulu. Greetings to all the Bento family all over the world, to the dispersed and outcast of Isolele in the Eastern and Western Hemisphere. May the spirit of Akongo be with you all wherever you are in this world. <laughs> wow. So thank you for tuning in. Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm here with um, Manzambi Zola from the United States of America and our brother Yanata. Um, yeah, we're going to discuss the Belgium Museum of Africa. I went there to visit the museum. I saw some interesting thing. Unfortunately, I cannot share everything I just in just one video. So mm. I will... Um, yeah, I will, as we go along, I will share some things here and there. Uh, I think I will just begin and share my screen. Yes. So, um, so that we can enter into this second part. Yes, there we go. So you can see it, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think you can see everything yes. here. Now, this is a video. Uh, I will just press the play button so we can... Uh, we could watch the video and it's actually outside oh it's not in this video but um, at the fence at the top of the fence they have the Congo Cosmogram is funny oh you serious I'm serious <laughs> I'm serious but I um, I just think of it right now yeah, but in front of this, uh, yeah, what looks like a castle, right? It's very big, enormous. Uh, you have the fence, and atop the fence, you have the Cosmo, the Congo Cosmogram in it. Yeah, it's wow. a circle with a four oh, point. My goodness. Uh, we started to do a breakdown of the, cons of the Cosmogram, no? Yeah, we will. Huh? Yeah. Look at this. It's very big. And it's not the museum itself, but it's the building... Uh, in front of the museum. The museum is right here at the back. You see that uh, black, no, okay, the black object there, the black building? Mm -hmm. mm. That's actually the museum. Yes. Yeah, but this building is enormous. It's very big. Mm. And it's just one side. Eh? Very big. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. And it's a park, eh? it's a very yeah, big park. This is in uh, in Belgium, in Brussels. Wow. Now, as you enter the museum, uh, that's what I saw uh, in in the hall. Mm. Mabele elekilola. <laughs> Do you know what that means, uh, Yanatan? Ah, oh, of course. Hmm? It's in French also. La terre plus belle oui, oui. que le paradis. Mm. And in English, right there, uh, heaven or the earth brighter than paradise. I don't like mm. the translation. It's actually a bit off, eh? brighter. Yes. Mabele elekilola. Elekilola. Now, Ma mm. the, the message behind this is the following. The European came to the continent, right? Especially... Uh, the king demon himself, King mm -hmm. Leopold II. Mm. They came into Belgium. Yes, the missionaries came, the, soldier, the soldiers came. And the missionaries, they had to teach the Bena Congo to hate the earth and to love heaven. Hmm. Yes. To hate earth, wow. but to love heaven. So, as the Benin Congo accepted Christianity by beatings, by the whip, right? Because King Leopold said, convert them by the whip. So, beat them, murder them, kill exact, them. Kill them, exactly. Okay? And the Pope, I think Pope Nicholas, uh, he said the same thing when he wrote that papal bull. He mm. said, he, he gave Portugal and, 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 and Spain... Yes, mm. the authorization to go to Africa to enslave mm. the non-Christians, the heathen, right? 
the Benakongo, wow. and to put them wow. into perpetual slavery, to mm. take their possessions, mm. to take all the riches, to take mm. the lands. Wow. That's what they did. And they put the spirit of poverty in the Benakongo through the whip yes. and through Christianity. Wow. Oh, hate everything on earth. Just mm. focus your life on getting into heaven. But in yes. the meanwhile, they were stealing all the resources. They were stealing the resources. Yeah? Stealing that, all yeah. the wealth. Yes. And the crazy. missionary preaching to them with the whip, yeah? with and the you, sword, with the guns. Remember, that's crazy. And remember what King Leopold said. These people, you won't teach them the most high. Yes. They know right. the most high. Nzambi mm. Mpungu yeah. Tulendo, Nzambi Maweja, Mungu Wangu. They know the law. They mm. know how to practice the law. He even quoted the name Tatan Zambi, <laughs> the most high. Yes. Mungu. Yes. Mungu, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you won't teach them the most high. Oh my good. The only Man, we, people who are mm. ignorant are the Benakong. It's sad. The Europeans, they know. They know. Elite they know more than us. They, they know more than us. Yes. Yeah. And then when you try to teach uh, uh, the, the Ben and Zombie, they look at you cross-sided because they never heard it before. Right? So they yeah. look at you crazy. Exactly. So how is it that the Mzungu know about it and we don't? Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Yeah, so that's the, the, the story behind Mabele Elekilola. So with this statement, he wants the Africans, the Benakongu, to think, right? Mm. To think, wait a minute. If I am living on earth, why must I wait for a good life just when I die? Exactly. Because mm. we were not living like this. People. No. We were not living like this in poverty, you know, waiting and hoping for heaven for a better life. No. We had everything. We had kingdoms. Mm. Yes. did not exist. Mm. Yes. Everyone was looked after. Everyone was looked after. So if you were poor, there was always someone who helped you, you know, because we shared the wealth. Mm. Yes. The wealth was distributed over the land, over the people. Mm. So mm. when the Kadian Pemba, Diego Kao, when he came to Congo, when the kings and the ambassadors of Portugal came to Congo, they found a well-established, prosperous kingdom. Very true. We didn't even yes. we, we didn't yeah. have prisons, you know. We didn't have any prisons. We didn't have poverty. They found a well-established kingdom, a powerful kingdom, a prosperous kingdom. You know. The only thing that they had in mind is how can we steal from these people. How can we mm. take what they have? Mm. You see? And that's how Christianity came. Christianity wow. changed. <laughs> Christianity took the focus away, right? Because the priests were preaching, don't care for earthly properties. Don't care for your earthly life. Just focus. Yes. Because difficult, very difficult for a rich man to enter into heaven. So why do you want to be rich, Kadian Pemba? Why are you stealing all the resources from the land, Kadian Pemba? Mm. You are bringing us Christianity, telling us to be poor so that we can enter heaven, but you are enriching yourself. You see the foolishness? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make Until any today, sense. our people are believing this crap. Wow. Till today. Wow. Yes. Oh, we're praying for heaven, brother. Huh. This life is only temporary. In mm. heaven, we will have everything. Let us read one text. Manzami okay. Sola, if you have your Bible, open your Bible to Joshua 1, verse 7. Let us read this, this verse here. And it reads, Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Masa, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Oh, my goodness. So where 
are you supposed to prosper in heaven or on your earth? land on earth on earth on earth you see you mm -hmm. see and wherever you go wherever you go on earth well, i see that wherever yes, you go so the bena congo the kingdom of congo okay congo diatotela it was prosperous mm. prosperous yes. and do remember that when the Kadian Pemba took slaves, they did not take uh, people who were not skillful. Mm -hmm. skillful they people. took skillful people. The best. The best. They the took best. master uh, they took the smiths. Best, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Master builders. Mm -hmm. Master, you know, uh, farmers. Mm -hmm. eh? They took the skillful people. Yes. And by taking the skillful the skillful people, they built the new lands. Mm -hmm. America exactly. was built by the skill of the slaves. Very true. Yes. Very yeah. true. Now, uh, look at this. This mm -hmm. is a woman pregnant, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it is um, this art is from Freddy Simba. He's a Congo artist. Mm. He had an exposition in uh in this museum right in uh, in belgium in brussels mm, mm. now he wants the bena congo to think so here he tells us my bele eleki lola so we must focus our attention to the earth okay? instead <laughs> of uh doing everything just to enter into heaven okay? being poor being miserable you know because you want to enter heaven. So now, in this image, we see a woman. She's pregnant, right? And she has a wing. It seems like she's an angel, right? She came down from Zulu, living on the earth, but she is miserable. Yes, uh, you see here that she is carrying something with her. That is her baggage, you know, baggage. Mm. Here on the ground, you see a broken, fallen, uh, one of her wings broken off and fallen to the ground. This is the Benakongo. Yes, huh. this is the Benakongo. Mm. We are the angels who came down. But we broken. Mm. Our wings are broken. We mm. don't know how to fly anymore. Mm. When we're carrying this baggage, mm. you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so wow. powerful. You know, you, you know, as um, as you as you're talking, uh, I was actually in spirit, <laughs> you know, and the revelation I got is, wow, is if the church won't speak, the most I will even use arts to speak. Yes. <laughs> Artists are actually prophets. Mm -hmm. If the church won't speak, the Motha can use art, culture. He can use poets. That's the revelation I was getting uh, when you were mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. So the Motha is gonna is gonna speak through people you would never expect from. Oh, my brother, let me tell you this: mm. when your soul came down from Zulu to mm. incarnate, mm. it came from three doors. Yes, he mm. came from Zola, the door mm -hmm. Zola. Mm -hmm. Yes, he came from the Zo do Lendo, which is power. Zola is love. Lendo mm -hmm. is power. Mm. And it also came from the door, which you can call um, um, the door of wisdom or the mm. door of creative wisdom. Ngoma. Yes. yes. Ngoma. Yes. Mm. So that creative wisdom is in us that yes. creative wisdom is also called muandansemi or bumbaloa mm. bumbaloa is the creator right mm. is the creative spirit mm -hmm. when you have the the verb vumba in kikongo vumba mm. it means to create something out of earthly material like clay wow. as wow. a creates something from clay wow yeah, that's the verb vumba or bumba mm. so p 
people, artists, they have that creative spirit. Mm. And through the creative spirit, when they create something, they can actually prophesy. Yes. Yes. They they are expressing prophecy. They are expressing a word from the Most High. Now, in this, we see an angelic being, the Benakong, who came from Zulu, but this angel, this child of Congo, is damaged. Mm. It's damaged. You see mm. the baggage, you see the broken wing on the ground, mm. and you see the, the, the sandals, right? Mm. The sandals. Mm. Why do you use sandals? To walk, to walk comfortably. Yes. So our walk has been destroyed. Mm. Our wow. connection with Zulu has been destroyed. And in life, we are carrying this baggage. As long as she's carrying this baggage, when she, when, when she gives birth, that child will also carry that baggage. Mm, yes. <laughs> so we need, to take, we need to get rid of it. Mm. Yeah. So this image here, it expresses the brokenness of the Bena Congo. Mm -hmm. Yes, the broken. And you know, Nabi, it, it is interesting that uh, it, 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 he created this with her being pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that that says a lot, just in itself, and it says this is the condition for every generation. Wow. Yes, that's that what they will be right. Yes, Every that they will be broken, be impoverished, and broken. Mm. Destroyed. Yes, huh. yes, and wow. look at the color of it. That's the other interesting thing. Why did he make it, let's say, brown, black? Mm. Okay, he could have made it any other color, but he chose black. Mm. And you cannot fly with one wing. Mm. But he kept the wing on there mm -mm. Yeah. to represent that this individual or individuals mm -hmm. are someone special. Mm. Yes. And you see wow. her covering her her eyes. So she has, you know, her hand before mm -hmm. her arm no on her head, expressing yes. passy. Yes, an expression yes. of passy when you suffer. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. mm. So and look at the dreads. Yes, and the, the dreads. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the dreads. Okay. And this oh, my God. Hmm? Yeah, it's lagging a bit, eh? Okay. Here you have mm. a man. Right? Mm -hmm. He's covering his face in shame. Mm -hmm. He's covering his face in disappointment of life. But you also see that he has a wing on his back and one wing is fallen. Mm -hmm. Once again, mm -hmm. with this I image, uh, this yes. artist is telling us that the Bena Congo, the man of Congo, are also destroyed. Yes. They are not flying. So they are not expressing themselves. They, because when you have wings, it's naturally for you to fly. Yes. But when your wings are broken or removed, you cannot behave yourself naturally anymore. Eh? You are nailed to the ground, but you are created to fly. Wow. So, so you can't do, you cannot move naturally as you were created to do. So that's what they did with the Bena Congo. Wow. We are not moving naturally anymore. What we, what we did for many, many thousand years. We have become artificial. Mm. We have lost our natural creative power creative energy and they made us artificial 
Wow. And they also made us controlled. Yes. Yes. They programmed you. Yes. Yeah. It's crying. Wow. Wow. Mm. My goodness. Okay. Now, what you make out of this? You see a man mm -hmm. and a fence mm -hmm. and a woman on the other side. Mm. Separation. Exactly. Mm. Separation, the destruction of the black family. The black yes. family. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Destruction of the black family. Black family. Okay, and here you see a picture of the missionaries hmm. Hmm? in uh, in Congo, the missionaries. Hmm. And if you look very closely in all those hmm. pictures, you will see a lot of kids, children. Exactly. Yeah? Hmm. So these people, they focused on the children yeah? here. Yes, they focus yeah. on getting the childrens, and when those childrens were indoctrinated, married, and had children, it was easy, right? Exactly. Because they will teach their children to obey the rules of the Kadiampemba, uh -huh. yeah, to follow wow. their religion, their yeah. systems. Yeah? Yes. To submit themselves mm -hmm. to their power. Yes, so here yeah. you see um, yeah, what is a statue, an image of someone crucified, but you also see a child, mm. you know, hanging on, mm. on the mother, mm. because she the has Catholic, breasts. The Catholic Church was so focused in Congo, man, so focused. In oh, Congo. you say it. Mm. They were so focused. They were more focused on Congo than any Anywhere other African else. land. Yeah. You say? Why? Not in Ghana, not no. in Nigeria, not no. in Benin, not to Congo. nowhere, not even Congo. Ethiopia, my brother, but Congo. No. Congo, why? That's why Congo? a big question. Why Congo? <laughs> What's so special no. about special Congo about that the Catholic exactly. Church invested billions, trillions mm. in Congo to get the mm -hmm. minds of the Congo, to mm. get the lands? Mm. And to evangelize the Congo. Why exactly. Was, hey, people must wake up. Wake up, man. Wake people up. People must uh, wake up. Wake so there up, there is man. something special about Congo that the Catholic Church, they knew about it, and they had okay. to have it. Yeah? They said, you know, we need to have this. Yeah. You know, when I hear this, the thing that, that makes me think is, in, in Scripture, when Shatani said, I will ascend above the clouds and be oh, no. like the oh, most no. high oh no so he desires what the most high had what is mm. the land of the most high exactly yeah. <laughs> this is this is very scary manzami zola because i just recorded a message about this oh wow yeah <laughs> today i just recorded a message about what you're just saying <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> I'll, upload, I'll upload it sometime and I, I recorded it today exactly what you said <laughs> <laughs> wow 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 so here you see another cross right and you see mm -hmm. these figures upon it mm. the four corners mm. yeah the four corners you see the priest the, the Jesuits the Jesuits here, yeah the right corner you see a big assembly wow Yes. The Jesuits, yeah. And here you see the Jesuits sitting in the middle and teaching the Benakongo, you know, Christianity. Yeah. Okay, let's mm. be a bit controversial right now. <clears throat> yeah, let's be controversial right now. So here, every time people see images like this, you know, they are triggered. Oh, uh. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, I feel you. I feel you. Here, 
we see these statues, right? These images of women holding a baby. Each statue is a woman with a baby in her arms. What do you think this, this represents? Yes, now these images, they represent. <laughs> Shall I say it? <laughs> You're going to skip people. Goodness. My goodness. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, the images. Are, here with us. <laughs> yes. Are people ready? A lot of people ain't ready. These images uh, represent um, creation, right? Yes. Um, the Congo people, when we talk about the creation, yeah, the creation, the one who gave birth to us is a mother. Ngundi is a mother. Yes. So the mother is the builder of the house. Yes. When Tatanzambe said, let us. Uh, it's not good for a man to be alone. He took Adam, right? According to the book, this is the story of the book. He took Adam, he took from his rib, yeah, from his side, from inside. Uh, you also say in Kikongo, uh, what was that word? Mpasi, you know, Mpasi mm -hmm. took from mm -hmm. his side and he built the woman. Yes. In Kikongo, you say Mupanzi. Mupanzi mm. means actually your the, the side. Mm. Yeah? Mupanzi. Now, Mupanzi is also connected with Pasi. Now, Pasi, in its present day definition, it means passion or pain. Passion, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or pain. The archaic definition means to be wealthy or to be rich, mm. to be prosperous, right? Mm -hmm. So he took from his rib, from his mumpanzi, and he built the woman. Now that word build, yeah, in your New King James Version, it reads mm -hmm. like he made the woman. Mm. But that word in the Strongs is bana. 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 Yes. Mm. It's bana. Now, bana Very means true. children. Yes. Bana also means to build. To see? build. So the one who builds the house for the man is the wife. Wife. Yes. Yes. Is the wife. And this statue represents fruit, fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. Mm -hmm. According to the archaic definition of mpasi, which means to be fruitful, to be rich. Yeah. So when he took the rib from his mupanzi for his passion, mm -hmm. he built a woman so that he can be fruitful. Yeah? And that's what this represents, the fruitfulness, yeah? mm -hmm. having children, producing life. It has nothing to do with statue worshipping, you know, idol worshipping. Um, if you go to Egypt, for example, you will find statues, you are right, of mm -hmm. Egypt with a child. Yes. All over. We lived there. Even from Congo. We lived there. Yes. It's a representation of life. Yeah. Yes. yes. Fruitfulness. Yeah. That's why you have this. It was not for uh, worship or something like that. It Very just represents Bumba Loa, the one who births life, the one who gives life. And the mother is the one who gives life. Yes. Yes. Now, that's interesting. It's actually... Uh, what do you say about this, uh, Yanata? What do you see? Wow. Wow, I see two people fighting. Mm -hmm. One is a, looks like a slave. Mm -hmm. The other 
I don't know, looks like a priest or. Yes, now this is uh, that guy clothed with a tail uh -huh. band. He's an Arab. Ah, yeah, Arab, of course. Uh, yeah. uh, what do you call them? Yes. Uh, yeah, he's an uh, Arab. He came to yeah, Congo the, to steal people. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's yeah. his name again? Uh, t Tipo Tipo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so Tipo Tipo. Yeah. They were still yeah the yeah also in Tanzania he was there also yeah T uh, yes. tipo, tipo. Tip, yeah tip. Tip. yeah that guy was crazy he he was oh, I yeah. think three he was three quarters black yes something and like that yeah his grave is still there in uh in Zanzibar Zanzibar tipo and, tipo yeah uh, it's tipo trash top, yeah. all over it's trash yeah. all over his grave and he's 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 still buried there yes yeah oh, sorry he, um on those the Moors. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You know, yeah, the Moors. I know it's uh, very, very important uh, for the Hebrew Israelites, right? The Moors, as they claim their identity from the Moors, but the Moors were Africans. Yes, the Moors were Africans, and the etymology of the Moors goes back to Maurus, Blacks, Morena, Mauritius, Moor. Uh, it all means black. It just yeah. means black. Yeah. It, it doesn't speak of an ethnic group or a geographic location. It just means black. Mm. Mm? From the Greek and Latin. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. And T Tipo Tipo was friends with uh, King Leopold. Everyone who was dealing in slavery. They were, they were friends. Yeah. They, <laughs> they made money together. They made money together. Yeah. Like. Selling people, the uh, yeah. Christians and Arabs, exactly. um, Christians and Muslims, the yeah. Christians, Muslims. The Muslims, and the Jewish. Those three powers. Yeah. Yeah. They were friends in the transatlantic slave trade or dealing with slave trade in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. They enslaved us, all three. Mm -hmm. yes. Christianity enslaved us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Islam enslaved us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jewish enslaved us. So mm -hmm. what what have we to do with them? Nothing. What Nothing. have we to do with them? They enslaved us. Christianity enslaved us, gave us Christianity. Yes. Islam enslaved us, gave us Islam. Mm -hmm. Jews enslaved us and told us you are dog. You, you can never be a Jew. <laughs> exactly. You are dog, you are pig. Exactly. Every one of us. And uh, today we, we want to be Ashkenazi black Jews. Yes. Yeah. Today right. we want to be accepted by them. Wow. Mm. My goodness. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Uh, Niger Congo. Niger Congo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I thought Niger Congo was up here in Sub-Saharan. Niger Congo. But Niger, Niger Congo. Congo is all here. Niger Congo. Mm. Right. Niger Congo, mm -hmm. you see that? Hmm. Niger Congo is up here. It's here, not yes. above, but here. So these people, they have been changing the map, you know, continuously, mm. continuously, just to hide the truth, to, mm. you know, to deceive the whole world. Because not only the blacks are deceived, but the whites themselves are also deceived by their exactly. own fellows. Yes. By their own, exactly. Yeah? It's the by elites, the whites. People. Exactly. They deceived everyone. So Niger Congo is Congo. Yes. Niger means black. It's a Latin word which means black. Niger. It yes. means black. Yes. So this is yes. black Congo. Uh, here we see, uh, it's not that sharp, sorry for that. But here we see the transatlantic slave trade. We see Central Africa, and we see the coast of West Africa above. But as you can see, many of those slaves came from the Niger Congo. They were taken mm. uh, from this yeah. Niger Congo territory. Uh -huh. Yes. It's complete Niger Niger Congo territory. Wait a minute, Took wait a the minute. Slaves. What one second. So Manzambizola, you're not a copper colored black Indian. <laughs> no, sir. 
you were taken from oh okay i'm just making sure just making sure yeah. <laughs> okay okay sorry okay first i'm going go okay <laughs> okay just just making sure just making sure <laughs> yes as you can see eh? yeah so here niger congo and then you see here on the map the transatlantic slave trade mm. and <laughs> okay here they say from the 16th through the 19th century european slave ships transported approximately 12.5 million enslaved african men and children to the americas that's what that's a lie yes it is you know? that's a lie yeah. from kadian pemba hell <laughs> what <laughs> you see that so even though they're bringing this out giving you the map they give you false information mm. it's not 12.5 million more like 100 million mm. yes yes how yes. they took more than 100 million people mm. from africa mm. and many of them died died perished yeah on the, on sea. the slave, slave yes. ships yeah. uh, on the so. ships they were thrown overboard you know just wow. a few percentage made it to the so-called new world of Columbus. Wow. Yes. So <sighs> this we is must shocking, talk eh? about the African Holocaust. Exactly. In the video. Yes. We must really discuss the African Holocaust. Because the Kadian Pemba, they don't talk about it. But they force us to remember the six million, right? Yes. Mm. Yes, they do. Yeah? Careful. What careful. about the African God. Holocaust? Careful, careful. Your video might get flagged, you know. No, 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 no. We're not talking. Uh, yeah, okay. We, you know, <laughs> we're not talking nonsense. Oh, right? be careful. YouTube is dangerous. My <laughs> the African Holocaust, it's real. Uh, yeah. It's real. So if we can celebrate and remember the six million European Jews mm -hmm. who died, why? Are we not allowed? And why can we not remember? Exactly. Yeah? The millions who died during the African Holocaust, a.k.a. African, the transatlantic slave trade. They tell us to, to leave it alone. Don't worry yeah. about it. They, and they tell us, it happened in the past. Leave mm -hmm. the past in the so, past. Why don't you tell, yes, the Jewish... European Jews organizations who memor uh, you know who celebrate the memory of the six million who died. Mm -hmm. Let's leave that in the past, right? Exactly. Let's leave that exactly. in the past. It it happened. It's gone. You know. Yes. Let's focus on the future. Yes. Mm. Forget about it. Forget exactly. about it. No. <laughs> Only you, African. Only you, Bena Congo. Mm -hmm. Only you, African diaspora. Mm. They tell you, leave it alone. It's in the past. Yes. See? Wow. Great. Look at this. You see that? I can see. You see a so-called European hero look that looks like Roman, and you see a black child, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> black <laughs> child. <laughs> And that's what they want. Always be on the defeat. Mm. Depending on them. It's in the museum. And actually they covered it with this banner. So I had to go to the side to take the, mm. a picture. Mm. Wow. They cover it with this banner. Wow. Over there. So there are many of these statues. Yeah. Uh, here, for example, you see an African warrior killing a snake. Mm. Yes, killing a snake. Now, in this banner here, you, you can see it very clear, but I know. Mm. I saw that, this, I that picture. Mm. Yes, in this banner here, it's not a black man, but a European fighting mm. a snake. Oh, wow. Huh. Yes, but the statue pro shows you a black man killing a snake. Wow. Oh, my goodness. 
Shocking. Yeah. So what's that all about? Shocking. And he will see the yeah, oh, the Ukrainian there is. devil himself. Yeah? King Leopold. King Leopold the second, the second. Who enriched himself. Man, this guy. And and, and Angola, you know, for uh -huh. Congo. You know, Congo was his private private property. Property. Mm. How crazy you, is that? That's crazy. And you notice that um, Brussels today, the headquarters of the EU, that's where decisions mm -hmm. are made. After yeah. they conquered Congo, that's where decisions are made, even for NATO or whatever. Mm -hmm. Brussels. Yes, yes, yes. So it, it was wow. a sacrifice. They sac it was a sacrifice. These people are spiritual, man. Yes, they are. Yes, they Very are. Very spiritual. They are. You can Very never spiritual. rule the world without spirituality, without uh, obeying the spiritual laws. Exactly. Yeah, never. Mm -hmm. You can never rule the world. Exactly. Without spiritual laws, you know. Exactly. They know, and they know it. Yeah. <clears throat> On the Leopold mm -hmm. II, ivory was one of the colony's most important sources of income. As you can see here, you know, they killed a lot of animals, elephants, especially. Yeah. Uh, between 1889 and 1808, uh, some 4,700 tons were exported to the port of Antwerp. All that ivory originated from approximately, look at that, how many elephants? Uh, 94,000 elephants. elephants. Wow. My goodness. So when wow. we talk, listen, let me ask. So when they say animals are going extinct, who, who is killing the animals in the world? <laughs> the aliens. <Huh? laughs> My goodness. Aliens from spaceships. Oh, animals are going <laughs> extinct. Who is killing those animals? Exactly. 94,000 elephants. They're the only ones that find sport in it. Call wow. it sport. Hmm. Crazy. Yeah, unbelievable. So Esau is the hunter. Yes. Esau mm. is the one who hunts in the field. Mm -hmm. They go to Africa and they hunt animals. Yeah? Yes. They hunt people. They hunt animals. Yeah, here, hunting legislation was only tightened in 1920. Six. Six. So until that time, because they came in, King Leopold came in uh, in eighteen yes between eighteen eighty nine, right? Mm -hmm. And until nineteen twenty six, wow. they were killing elephants, right? Killing animals, wow. transporting you know all those dead animals to Africa, ivory to Africa. And those were just animals. But when you think about the the, the rubber eh, that King Leopold stole from Congo, eh, and the diamonds, and the gold. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Huh, huh. Yes, and even his this statue here is made from ivory. Wow. <laughs> eh? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, that's that's a good one. Oh, come on. Hmm? That's, mm. Do you do you know who this is? Yeah, that picture. I always see it. Do you know yeah. who this is? Yeah, I forgot his name though. Um, it was a it was a Mukongo. Huh? He was a Mukongo. Yes. This is Kimbangu. <laughs> What is Kimbangu doing in the African Museum in Belgium? Mm, this is Kimbangu? That is yeah. Kimbangu. Look, I didn't know that. I, I always look, see that picture. Uh, Simon Kimbangu. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you serious? I, oh, I've never God. known that was Kimbangu. Huh? What is he doing in, in the museum? Yes. Yes. You know, even in a in um European um religious um encyclopedia, they named him a spiritual master. 
<laughs> Master spirituality, Kim Bangu. Wow. Kim Bangu. Yeah. Mm. Look him here. It's Kim Bangu. Uh, this is Kim Bangu. His younger uh, picture, you know? Oh, yes, his younger picture, yeah. Yes, his younger wow. picture. Wow. Kim Bangu. Wow. In, in the Belgium African Museum in Brussels. What is he doing? They have man? a picture of Kim Bangu there. You so tell me. Kim Bangu was very. Uh, important, you know, yeah, significant. Yeah. He was a very powerful man, one who very powerful. the Belgian they found him so powerful and interesting they had to put him in the museum. Yeah, wow. <laughs> mm. yeah. they have to put him in the museum. But when you now let's read what they say about okay. Bangu, please. All right, please. okay, okay, yeah. okay. Kadian Pemba will always be Kadian Pemba. Wow, goodness. This ought to be interesting. And this, uh, let's see here. Um, it's in Dutch, French, and English. Mm. So let, let, let's read the English part. It's here beneath. Simon Kimbangu from 1890 to 1951. A former Protestant catechist. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Do you see that, Yanatan? Really? Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> I they don't put it in a religion. Look at this. Simon Kimbangu, a former Protestant catechist. Mm. Oh my goodness. What a lie, right? Mm. He was yeah. not a Protestant. And he was definitely not a catechist. For mm. those who don't know, a catechist is someone who teaches the Catholic doctrine. Right. <laughs> who teaches the Catholic faith, one who teaches. Mm. Yeah? Wow. The Christian faith. Now Kimbangu yeah. did not teach the Catholic faith. He did not promote the Catholic regime or institution, religion. But that is what they write over there. We have to write our own history. You see we, the, write, the, the we have to mess. write our own history, yeah. You see the mess, eh, right? So they give you the picture, okay? They tell you who he is. And as you are reading, if you have no knowledge, you will believe it. Mm. You say, oh, okay, Kimbangu was a Protestant. Oh, okay. <laughs> he makes a name, makes a name for himself as a prophet and healer. Healer. In 1921. Wow. He also predicts the end of the colonial regime. Huh. Yeah, that's true, right? That's yes, true. Yes, that's true. Catholic missionaries and the government regard his success as a threat. Now, that's also mm, true. Very mm -hmm. true. So, now, now, why? If he was a Protestant and preaching the Christian doctrine, why did the Catholic missionary uh -huh. and the European government, especially the Belgium government, regard his success as a threat? As a threat. Doesn't exactly. make sense at all. Doesn't it make doesn't. any sense. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Catch the thief. Read carefully, my brothers and sisters. Yes. Catch the thief with his own... He tells on himself. With his own words. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And he Kajampe. is arrested mm. and sentenced to death. King Albert I commutes the sentence to life imprisonment. Mm. His movement is forbidden. Hey, wait a minute. What is his movement according to this text? He was a Protestant teacher. Protestant. Mm. <laughs> what? So you are prohibiting a movement... Or Christian religious movement? <laughs> Who's promoting your own? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. So, you know, oh, Simon Kimbangu was not one of them. He was not a Christian. He was not promoting the Catholic enslavement program called Christianity. Yes. So, that's the reason. They considered his movement a threat, arrested him, and imprisoned him for life. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, and the movement was forbidden, became illegal. Yes, became illegal. And his followers are banished or locked up in camps. Mm-hmm. See that? His mm-hmm. followers. So where are the Kimbangist coming from then? <laughs> Yeah? Where are they coming from, the Kimbangist? If his followers were arrested, banished, or locked up in camps. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, huh. evidently, exactly. he did not create the Kimbangist church. church. No, he didn't. Yes. No. He, he didn't. did not. And there's a huge church there in Congo, but hey, we don't want to offend people here. So let's 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 yes. move on. Yeah, yeah I don't. Want to, yeah, yeah. So if you are Kimbangist, you know, we uh, love you, you. We love you. Yes. Yes. Uh, please don't take any offense. We're just talking history. Okay. Exactly. Um. So where they have to perform? Let me see. Okay, his movement is forbidden, and his followers are banished or locked up in camps, where. Mm. They have to perform forced labor. Now, sounds like uh, what they're doing in uh, in the prison called Angola, right? Exactly. Yeah. Prisoning our brothers and sisters in, uh, in the States there. And giving mm-hmm. them forced labor. Exactly. Yes. In Angola prison. In Angola prison. Interesting stuff. Huh? And Kimbangu himself dies in 1951 after 30 years in prison. Congo officially recognized him as a national hero in 2010. So, Kimbangu was great. Kimbangu was greater than Mandela then. Yeah, 30 years in prison, man. Come on. <laughs> and you know, they were lashing him. They were lashing him apparently and, every day. You know, and Kimbangu, he told the people, "I will give myself over to them." Yes. Why? You know, why? Because they did not have power to arrest power him. To, to arrest him. They didn't have he said, I am laying down my life. I'm giving yes. I'm I'm going and I'm giving myself over to them. Because wow. it was spiritual. You understand? Because yes. he as he went to prison, those Kadiampemba who imprisoned him signed their own judgment. Mm-hmm. Powerful. I yes, hear you. They yes, they signed their own judgment. So that's why he said that when the great king returns, his return will be lethal. Many will die. Mm-hmm. As, you, as you remember the prophecy, yes. many will die because of wow. judgment. Because and we judgment. see the judgment taking place already. You know? So it's about to. In one of my videos a few months ago, I said that Europe will begin to face more and more natural disasters. Yes, I remember. And we are seeing it today. I remember. We are seeing it all over Europe. Yeah. And it will only increase poverty. You will see Europe in poverty. Exactly. And they themselves will not understand what's happening. Even with this floods that were going on and the fires yes. they are not understanding what's happening yeah. right what's happening we are in europe you know mm-hmm. what's happening to us yes. exactly it's the judgment the hundredth year of kimbangu's prophecy 1921 exactly uh, mm-hmm. 2021 hundredth year mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my, my, my. in june you know mm. okay we have a, a picture of um uh, Simão, you see here at the left, right? Yes. At the left, you see Simão Kimbangu art. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sim, yeah, Sia, Siamo Kimbangu. Yeah, now, and then here, Dieu le Créateur. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Can you, can you yeah. interpret that? Uh, Dieu le Créateur. Ah, I'm not going to do it. Uh, Manzan Bizola has the honor to oh. speak. <laughs> I, look, I don't know. I don't know French that well, but it looked like it says something about the Creator or the Most yes. High Creator. Yes, the Most High Creator. <laughs> yes. 
what what does that mean, Nabi Kefas? Please explain to us, because I'm I ain't saying nothing. I'm I'm quiet. I'm I ain't saying. Powerful. He said America. Yeah. He said America. I ain't saying Jack. <laughs> Dieu, le créateur is French for God the Creator. Um, okay. Now, question. Let's ask ourselves. <laughs> why, in the name of Zulu, mm. have they put this picture of a black man oh, with birds all around him and with the text Dieu le Créateur in this African museum in Belgium, Brussels? My mouth zipped. Can first do the honors? Yes, let us think. Why? Why will they do this? Why will they do this? A picture of a black man in the museum of Congo in Belgium, right? African Museum of Congo in Belgium, Brussels, with the text Dieu le Créateur, God the Creator. And we also see a picture of Kimbangu there. What are they hiding? What are they hiding? Now, they are hiding the fact that the creator of the universe is a black man mm-hmm. and he is Kushit. Mm. Yes. Yes. He's a black Kushit man, crispy mm. African. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes that's what they're saying that's what they are crypto communicating you know in secret Mm. communicating without (laughs) but people don't have the understand or the to know to know what they are trying to say crypto communication in secret they are telling you from listen man these Congo people these Congo prophets over here that picture he was an important guy he had a huge following in Congo yes he healed people Mm. he fought against the Catholic Church Mm. yes and we had to put a stop to his Mm. movement so we arrested all his followers and we put them in prison in slavery. Wow. And we kill many of them. Mm. Yes. Oh, That's what they say, you know, but in code. Yeah. In in a decent way, you know, like uh we don't want to we <laughs> to, to to be uh yeah. And then uh, this picture telling you the creator is black. Yeah. Dieu le créateur. The creator is black. So, my goodness. <laughs> and you know, it also says too, the first man created and placed in the Garden of Eden. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dope. Oh, yes. Yes. The first. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. The first <laughs> land mentioned during wow. the creation story is Kush. Yeah, yeah. The rivers are named, mm. but a land in particular is named. That's the land of Kush. Mm. Yes, and uh, and Havila. Come on, Come on bring it out. Mm. And Havila, both exactly. are in Africa. Mm. Mm. Congo, Belge. Yes. Mission religious. Mission the... religious. Can you say something about yeah. it? Missionary, uh, religious missionaries. Um, the missionaries, basically. So mm-hmm. they had a map where they planned where to send the missionaries. They exactly. were so focused in the Congo, as you said, not Ethiopia. You know, a lot of people talk about Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Abyssinia. They forget they came for the Congo. Why was the Catholic Church so focused on on the Congo? And of course, uh, Congo, Angola, Congo, Brazzaville, Congo, Gabon, you know, you know and yeah. the, the DRC. The Catholic Church, what's in the Congo that they were so interested in beyond the resources? It was the power of Congo. Mm -hmm. Spiritual power. 
spiritual power. They were so focused in the Congo. Pope John Paul would come there and say, God is black and Jesus is African. Mm -hmm. He would say that. He, he, they, they're so focused on that land. Why? Yes, I remember as the missionaries were coming, they were also writing reports. Mm. Yes, and one in, in one of those reports, there's this, this missionary called Carpenter. Mm. He said, after a stay in the Congos, we as missionaries, we have come to understand mm. the Old Testament traditions more clearly. Exactly. How is that possible? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> because the Bena Congo were living it. Yes, they, they had it in the traditions. Yes. So as the missionaries came, they were observing, they were seeing the Old Testament traditions live in front mm. of them. Yes. And they came to understand it much better. Mm. Yes. See? That, that tells you something. So there's a reason why the Rome the Catholic Church, right, was so interested in the Congo. Why? Congo was the first African country that they had to take, that they destroyed. Until wow. today, they are doing everything they can to keep the Congolese mm. in a state of destruction. Destruction. And poverty. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's why we saw exactly. this picture over here. Mm. This image of the angels. Mm -hmm. But in a you know, in a state of fallenness, broken, True. destroyed. True. The angels. Yes. Yeah? Mm. The angels. And they want you, as you are in this state of destruction, to focus on Lola. Heaven, paradise. Heaven. Mm. Focus mm -hmm. on paradise, man. I know you have your struggles here. Your life is, you know, is bad. Situations are bad. Mm -hmm. Focus yes. on heaven. That's yeah. what they do. Yeah? So that they can steal and take the land. As you are <laughs> praying for heaven, they are robbing you. They are robbing you, yeah. yeah? Wow. Exactly. Yeah. When you pray, close your eyes. Close your eyes. And as you close wow. your eyes, they are robbing your whole house. Wow. <laughs> Kadiam Pemba. Mm. Ah. We have been destroyed. We are truly a people. Destroyed, robbed, spoiled. But we have huh. entered the mm -hmm. season of Over restoration. Stories. Yes, sir. Yes. The door is open. It's up to us now. The door has been opened. Yes. The 400 years are fulfilled. The 100 years of Kimbangu are fulfilled. We have entered into a new season. That's a season where the power has been transferred to the Bena Congo. All yeah. the cosmic power. And I said this before. Mm -hmm. All the cosmic powers mm. yes. have returned to Congo. Hallelujah. Have returned to the Bena Congo, Benan Zambi. This is the time to rise up, you know, to rise up from the dust, wow. to rise up from the ground, yes. to rise up from the grave, to rise up from being dead. Now here wow. you see it, Ethiopia, inferior, exterior. Now Ethiopia, the land of Congo, was called Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Hmm? You see that? Yes. It's yes. the land of Congo. Mm -hmm. land of Congo. It's called Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Now, wow. when they came in and started dividing the Congo land, it was all about Congo, not about Africa. Mm. It was about Congo. Right. Yeah. Joel Tree, they divided and parted my lands. Mm -hmm. They will be judged. That's Joel Tree. It's mm. not pointing to that so called land of Palestina today. No, mm. because that land was never parted by the Europeans. Yes. Never. Mm -hmm. Yes, never. 
But Congo was part of it. And they had a one-year conference. The Congo-Berlin conference. Conference. Just to part Congo. Now, when they were changing the maps, hiding the truth, right? Because Ethiopia, the land, the present-day Ethiopia, was mm -hmm. the only African sovereignty that was not colonized, they kept the name Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yes. But all the other Ethiopian countries, Congo, the Kadian Pemba named it. Huh. Yes. They named it. Yeah. Yes. But yes. if you right. research old maps, you will indeed see that the name Ethiop is connected with the whole territory with of Africa, Niger Congo. Wow. Yeah. That was sure. interesting, huh? My goodness. It's very wow. interesting. Yeah. Wonderful work, Brother Kifos. Very good work, man. Yes. Very good work. Wow. Very powerful. Very good work. Wow. Because I, I watched your thing in Carousel. That was so powerful. And now Belgium. So where are you going next? Uh, you remind me of to Are you the new Tomb Raider? He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, going where everywhere, going you know. Next? Where, where yes, are you going uh, next? The next Brazil. Museum, the next Brazil. museum will be the, the African Museum in Deutschland, in Germany. Deutschland. Yes. Oh, that's going to that's be Germany interesting. Germany and... Um, I will also, uh, before that, I will, and, and Le Louvre, yeah? mm, Le Louvre, mm. that's the museum right? in, uh, in Paris. In Paris, Paris. yeah, sorry, in Paris. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Yeah? So I will also go there. They have wow. a lot of things there. Wow. So from Congo, Africa, and over the yes. world. Yes. Wow. Le Louvre. So I will go there. Support by the Kefas' in endeavors, hallelujah. He's doing the work. Yes. You know, support him in any way that you can. He's bringing this information. I was so humbled, so blessed. You know, I've seen that picture of everywhere. I, I never knew this Kimbangu. Today, I, I discovered Kimbangu. <laughs> I used to see that picture everywhere. I, I never knew it was Kimbangu. You never wow. knew? Never knew. I would, I would see it everywhere. Only today, I found out, oh, it was Kimbangu. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, it's Kimbangu, you see. So, uh, wow. eh, Kimbangu is, is very, he was very feared. Right. Yes. He was very mm -hmm. feared by the Belgium. Mm. Belgium. So they had to put something of Kimbangu in the museum. Wow. Even though they are telling lies, but wow. they have to include him. They had to. Because wow. the Kadian Pemba, they are, they have this ego and arrogance, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so good. Hallelujah. Ah, Kembo. Oh. Zulu. Mm. Uh, do you have last words? Well, you know, uh, that is, again, that was very powerful, you know, um, and I just find it uh, crazy how they said that uh, Kimbangu was um, a, a Catholic, you know, Protestant catechist, and mm. he was so powerful that they had to kill him. You know, that, <laughs> it doesn't jail. It doesn't jail. Exactly. You know? And they call them a healer. Uh, yes. They call right. them a healer. Right. Yes. They call them so a even they their call them a prophet and a healer. Yes. Yes. So wow. why would you, I mean, we, we know he was not. So the question is, if he was, why would you want to kill one of your own? Mm -hmm. Exactly. exactly. You know, you would you would lift him up because he's lifting your organization up. So exactly. that in itself let you know it was a lie. It was it was a lie, and then uh, and then you'll find certain Congolese believe he was a witch doctor. Yes, yeah. but the Christian Church is not opening. I see pastors now are honoring Kimbang, which is a good sign. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good. It's thing. a good. And let us remember, sign. in this. A written text, right? 
They mm-hmm. do not call him a witch doctor. No. They right. do not call him a sorcerer. No. A they prophet. do not call him a, a, a idol worshiper. No. They call him a prophet, a, a healer, leader. and a leader. A leader. Yes. yes. Out of their own writings. Yeah. So why, if the Kadian Pemba are recognizing him as a prophet, a healer, and a leader, why are Congolese calling him a witch doctor or, you know? Hmm? Ah, I don't know, man. Mutuyakisi or whatever. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So um, sense. the Catholic Church, they know who Kimbangu was. Yes. The European Belgium authorities, they know because they have those reports what happened in Congo. They have the reports. Yeah. So they know. And the truth is coming out. Kimbangu yes. prophesied everything he prophesied came to pass. Came to pass. Yes. Yeah. It came to pass. And now we have entered into the last phase. Yeah. First Remember, the door of return is open. The mm. door of restoration mm. is open. Yeah. Mm. After that, we have been restored. Yes. Spiritually, we will be restored financially. And then the judgment will come. Yeah. Probably. The judgment will come. Mm. People will recognize us because they will begin to see the restoration of the Bena Congo. Hallelujah. Something has happened with these people. Exactly. And then they will begin to see how we are climbing up. Hey, something is up with these people. Mm -hmm. And slowly they will begin to confess their sins. Yes. As they will begin to discern that their judgment is coming and the time is up. Hallelujah. Very true. Then the judgment will come. Hallelujah. That's the order. It's, it's not just sitting, you know, praying, doing nothing, and then Tata Zambi come, destroys the whole world, and we are saved. No. <laughs> no, that's the, that is the ex, ex, uh, ex, ex, escapism mentality. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's it not, is. That's not a warrior overcomer mentality, a winner yes. mentality. It's escapism. Escapism. Yes, and that is, uh, and, 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 Waiting on the rapture is escapism theology. Escapism, exactly. You want to escape. Mm. You don't want to conquer and win, but you want to escape. Mm. No, 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 no. Kimangu was very clear in his prophecy. Everything he prophesied happened. So I believe for 100%, I am sure that these last prophecies will also take place as he said. Yes, yeah. sir. It will. He said, he, he called yes. uh, the spiritual awakening. He called the uh, spiritual uh, ma- maturity. And he also called the return of the Bena Congo. Yes. All three are happening. So the yes. judgment yes. is the last thing that will take place. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, do, do you have any last words, uh, Nabi of South Africa? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm lost for words. I just want to say great work that you've done, uh, Nabi Kefas. And please, guys, this kind of information shared with your parents, shared with your pastors. You know, uh, if you want anything about the Congo, it's here on these channels. You know, and share it. Make this video go viral. Spread it around. And let our people know. That's all I'll say. Ingeta, Ingeta. So everyone, we thank you, eh, Matondo, for watching and being part of uh, of the community. Uh, please subscribe to Manzambi Zola's channel. Support the voice. Support our voice. Support the Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, subscribe to uh, Yonatan, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Mm-hmm. Follow us as we bring forth the truth of the Bena Congo. Yes, as we bring forth the light to enlighten you and to help you grow spiritually, to help you to come 
you know, free from those shackles, those mental slavery and, 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 and the spiritual um, uh, imprisonment. Because your spirit, your spirit has been imprisoned. Yes. It's uh, not something that we have to discuss in a, in a separate video, but your spirit has been in prison. Now, as we are preaching and teaching and bringing forth the truth of Tatanzambe, you are del being delivered and your spirit is returning so that you can create, you can be the head again and not the tail, you can be above and not beneath, you can be successful. Everything that Tatanzambe has in store for you is coming back to you yeah so be a supporter and uh, help us okay so by this i say blessings to you and may congo reign in geta